Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Caroline. I am in the middle of a five-part series on Magic Mirror without the mirror. And basically, we're using our Magic Mirror as a digital photo frame that we can upload with Google Photos. And what I have is a 10-inch HDMI monitor that I've selected to use with my Raspberry Pi 3B+. Last week, we got our Google Photos working. It dynamically updates as we update our Google Photos album on our smartphone. And we have the date and the time available as well. Today, we're adding current weather and the weather forecast with the Open Weather API. Let's get started. Now, we are picking up right where we left off. This is our photos from last week scrolling through. I'm gonna hit Control M to minimize the magic mirror and then on our terminal I'm going to hit control C to stop the magic mirror temporarily as we make these configuration changes. Now I'm going to go open up the file manager on my Raspberry Pi and we're going to go to magic mirror and we're going to go back to config and we're going to open up our config file in Genie. Now on our magic mirror going through the configuration files as on Magic Mirror, so the website is magicmirror.builders. I will link to that below. And for magicmirror.builders, we want to go to the repository. So I'm gonna click go to repository, and that opens up the main GitHub page for Magic Mirror. Now we are going to scroll down, and I wanna talk about the open weather API today. I want to have the weather forecast and the current weather on my photo frame. And how do we do that? We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna to go to modules. Click on modules, you'll see current weather and weather forecast. Let's go into current weather and see what it says. This is what the module looks like and these are the configuration options. So right off the bat, I'll notice there needs to be a location ID and a app ID. Here's a sample configuration, top right, location, location ID from the city list and then an API key. Now how do I get that API key? Well, we want to go into openweathermap.org. So I'm going to open up a new browser, openweathermap.org. And this is an API that is free, but you do have to sign up to get your free API key. Here is openweathermap.org. And I'm going to click on API. And then I'm going to hit sign up. And you can sign up for an account, which gives you a free API key and there's all these terms and conditions that you need to agree to. I've already signed up for an API key. I'm not gonna go through that process. I'm gonna assume that you can do that or you have done that, and you're gonna come out with an API key that looks something like this. Now, um, you also need your location ID. Now, how do you get lo your location ID? It says it's on open, uh, open weather map. Now, I have clicked on this link before. It did not work for me, quite frankly. Let's go into config.js. I opened that file just a second ago. And so this is the top of the file, config.js. We worked on this last episode. Now I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for weather, current weather. And I'm gonna uncomment out current weather. And I'm gonna do that by adding a star and a backslash. And that brings us to the current weather. And then I don't want the news feed, so I'm gonna add slash star and I'm gonna comment everything out there. So I've uncommented out current weather and weather forecast and it needs an API key showing you how to get that and a location ID, which looks something like this for New York. In order to get the location ID, I want an ID from HTTP bulkweathermap.org sample. In the last scene, I attempted to open up a city list from Open Weather API on my Raspberry Pi. It turned out that file was too big for the little Raspberry Pi to handle. That crashed my Raspberry Pi, so I've rebooted my Raspberry Pi. I'm now on my regular computer here, and I'm gonna download the same file onto a regular computer. We're going to bulk.openweathermap.org forward slash sample, so same URL. Download the same thing, citylist.json.gz. It's going to download now. We're gonna go into our downloads folder. We're gonna find that file. And we're going to double click on that file. It is going to open it up. And then I'm going to double click on that file. We're going to open up that file and we can see all of the cities. Now we're going to search for our city. I live in Atlanta, so I'm going to do a search for Atlanta. And Atlanta comes right up. Now, here's a little trick that kind of tricked me when I was first working on this project. There are actually five Atlantas on here if you look at my screen. And 
I actually used the wrong ID the first time around. The point of this exercise is to find the correct ID for your location. I live in Atlanta, the correct ID was right here, but there were five more uh, of these Atlantas, with di all with different ID numbers. What I ended up doing was going into my internet browser and then just doing a search on coordinates of Atlanta. And it, and it gave it to me, 33 by 84. And so when I went through this list, I looked for 33 by 84. And I matched it up with the coordinates and I'm going to use this ID for Atlanta because that's where I live. So please uh, do the same exercise for whatever city you live in. And I, I would recommend che checking the longitude, latitude coordinates to make sure you get the correct one. Now let's switch back over to the Raspberry Pi and continue this tutorial. We are now back at our Raspberry Pi and our exercise was to get our location ID and our API key that we signed up for and I'm going to go through now and reconfigure this. So my location is Atlanta and my location ID is and I'm going to do the same thing for weather forecast. I'm also going to uh, remove the header. I don't want that. We're going to do some configurations here. Position, I want bottom right instead of top right and then my API ID is and now I've entered my, in my API ID. I'm going to hit save. Let's try this out to see if it works. Run the command to start my magic mirror. And there it is. You can see the weather on the top right. That's the current conditions. 529 is the time of sunset tonight. And I have everything in imperial units. I am in the US, so I like to see it's 44 degrees and it feels like 37. Burr. Forecast in the bottom right hand corner. Once again, I'm, I have a picture with the white background. If we want to add the same treatment, the same CSS treatment we did with the time, we can also do that as well. Also, there's a gradient I've noticed here and we and optionally you could remove the gradient. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Control M to minimize, Control C to stop it and let's get into the configuration. Again, let's go into Magic Mirror and let's look at configuration. So from the main page of Magic Mirror, I'm going to go to the repository and I'm going to scroll down until I see modules and then I'm going to get over to weather module, which is right here. All right, so we've got the weather module and we've set our location ID, we set our API key, and let's see, and then round temperature. Well, if you do you want the temperature to be with the decimal point or just rounded to the next integer? You can change round temp. And then there's also a uh, time format. I think everything is in 12 uh, already. I think I set that previously. And we can show wind direction and um, AM, PM, and there's all sorts of different choices here. From the GitHub page, let's go to weather forecast. And I want to remove that gradient because it's really hard to see the temperature as we go into the, the Saturday. So scroll down, I'm going into number of days. You can set it the default seven. We could set it to five or three days. And here it is, here, fade. So it defaults to fade true. I want to change it to fade false. All right, so let's add that to our configuration. So we're on configuration. We are under weather forecast and I'm going to add a comma right here and then I'm going to type in fade colon false because I do not want that fade and I'm going to hit save. Let's see how that looks. We start magic mirror and the fade is now gone. Uh, let's see, 44.6 degrees. We can remove that decimal point if you're interested. But the other thing I want to do is uh, create that border behind the temperature and the forecast uh, in case I have a picture that has a dark background. Work on that. We want to round the temperature, round temp to, a, to an integer. And we're going to add that in our config file. Let's see, false comma, add round temp, true. And I want to do the same here. App ID comma, round temp, true. And let's save that. And let's try that out. We're removing the decimal points now. And this is personal preference. So you can go through all of the different config files and then just personalize it the way you want to see it. And now we just have integers for our temperatures. 
close out of that. Let's get into custom CSS and put that same module background as we did with the clock on our photo frame here. Now, obviously, all of this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. So I'm copying module clock. So the names of the modules are current weather and weather forecast. So I'm just going to change this to current weather and weather forecast. There is probably an easier way to do this, but I don't know what that is. So now I'm changing everything to have a background of a white 50% transparent background. I'm going to hit save, restart, magic mirror, and now you see that we have a white 50% transparent background on all of our text, all of our modules, and we can clearly see the current weather and the weather forecast in all of my pictures. And that is it for today's tutorial. We've added weather with open weather API to our digital photo frame. This has been Magic Mirror without the mirror. Please join me next week. I will do another tutorial. We'll add something in the bottom left-hand corner, and that will be your schedule. You can see your personal, and this is for Google, Google schedule in the bottom left-hand corner. That is our agenda for next week. Join me next week. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.